Hey, what's up, guys? Um, it's Kofi here, and um, I'm doing a one take recording. I don't like listening to myself, so that's what it's gonna be. So, I recently decided that um, I'm going to get into you know filmmaking. I wanted to be um, more honest, I wanted to have you know just a story behind what I do, and although I love photography. I love just watching like films like I I've been watching a lot of films and they're the ones they're the things that get my emotions like they make me feel better so I'm just gonna cut to the chase so recently um, I decided to get into filmmaking as I said and I've been looking at putting together my um, film kit so I'm using my X-T4 um, in this video you can see I have my X-T4 and I got myself a small rig um, cage um, and a top handle. I've also ordered a side handle. I've also ordered a side handle and I have a battery grip cage also on the way just so I can get that extra weight when I need it. So um, I'm recording my GoPro by the way. I'm not using my Osmo Action for a lot of things anymore. So you can see with the side hand, um, the grip holding it moving around I'm learning that you know the camera is still light even with all this weight I just added to it it's still not enough and I'm use uh, in this I'm using my um 23 mm what I've learned is that um the 23 mm for some reason I had a lot more jizz and I do have a 10 to 24 mm now and I have less jizz with that and I actually feel more comfortable and confident using that so Here's me shooting, I'm shooting in log, I'm shooting in 4K, um, 24fps or 23.98, I don't know which one I took. I try to match it if I'm going to have another camera but I want to just stick to 24fps because I'm not using my um, monitor right now because I don't need it but if I do have like a full rig I will be using my monitor. There goes a car. This is why I can't do videos or anything at home. So here I'm just lining up the shots and learning you know, how to do things. This is my first time and I also recently got myself a Tascam DR40 external audio recorder and that's what I'm using and I have a Mono LV1 which is a lab mic to capture audio. I totally messed up the audio so that's why I'm at home right now talking to this mic. It's an HP mic that I'm using. So the GoPro camera, I should say I think it's much more, um, the, being a wide angle it's much more useful for POV than my DJI Osmo Action. What I do love about my Osmo Action is that I can match it to my drone so I do like that whole decent like flat look that I do have and I can match it with my Mini 3 Pro so you can see there's another shot I'm just taking just lining it up and, slowly pan. and I'm trying to learn the moves movements that stop the ibis front in the camera from causing that wobbling and I've seen that wobbling and it, it is hard to fix it I realize it's hard to fix it but it is what it is this is the camera I have and I'm gonna deal with it because I do love my Fuji I love the controls and I love what I can do with it so here's another move so I'm slowly like trying to develop what type of moves I do want to have when I like when I'm doing more yeah, storytelling I, I want to do documentaries interviews and just make my own videos and just realizing what type of moves I want to have is so important. Like, am I gonna be someone that stays on a tripod most of the time? Do I want to use my gimbal? I do have a Weeble S. I was a young Weeble S, what I have with my gimbal. I used it a few times, it works great. So, I was recently a camera operator for a small film in the Cleveland 48 hour um, film project, and one of the actors actually won Best Actor. So I'm very happy about that. This is a look um, from one of the places that I didn't use and you can see I have it color graded with the LUTs and I used um, the official Fuji LUTs and I just tweaked it for myself. I will include that link to the Fuji LUTs in the 
video description because I mean it's free they give it to us you get if you have an XT4 and XT3 you get Eterna Bleach Bypass and the others if you have an XT2 you can get some like basically anything from the XT2 upwards you can get um lots for your camera I think if you have a lot and once again just practicing the moves so you know these are all like kind of reveal shots and I'm learning hoping I can like, apply some of this also to you know real estate but that's not something I want to do now I just want to learn so I can tell stories that are just not me fixed on a tripod I want to be able to you know um, I said the tripod shots I'd like to be able to handhold and not worry about stability so much you can see right now I'm just walking and you can see that camera shake but um, yeah so this is the first journey I'm gonna talk about my gear later on in the future it's not important right now right now all I want to do is be able to go out be consistent make videos and edit in DaVinci Resolve and get better so that um, I can make something you know that's longer than a minute two minutes and improve and show how I'm growing so after this click the link and you can see the new video I just did from here you can see me color how I color graded it and so on thank you